Hello guys, Enrique here and today's video we're going to see how to fix low FPS when gaming on Windows 10. This is going to be a short and easy to follow tutorial and everything you need will be in the description down below. But before we start, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Instant. If you are looking for Windows 11, Windows 10, Microsoft Office, or even game keys for cheap, Instant.com is the place to go. They are running right now a Black Friday promotion, a 50% off with the code JUST50. Thanks Instant.com for sponsoring this video. Let's start by opening the registry editor. Click into the search bar, type regedit and click on the registry editor. Now you want to back up your registry editor just in case you make any mistakes and you need to go back to your original version. For that you want to click into file, export, type any name that you want and then click on save. Now you want to expand hkey current user, system and in here gain config store. On the right side you're going to see some registry keys and you want to double click with says game dvr enabled. You want to change the value data for one to zero and click on OK. Into game DVR FSE behavior mode, double click on it and you want to make sure that the value is set to two. Now you want to close this and to go into HKEY local machine, software, find Microsoft and expand it as well and scroll down until you find policy manager. Default, now search for application management and the folder allow game DVR. Double click into the value entry and change the value data to zero. Press once more into OK. Now you can already close the registry editor. Now we're going to open up the task manager. And for that, you want to right click into the start button, click into task manager. If you only see one small window like this one, click into more details. And here are all the applications and programs that they are running right now in your system. So if you want to reduce the usage of your CPU or your memory, you can close some of the applications to don't be running in the background at the same time while you are playing. You want to select the application that you want to close, right click on it and click into end task. Do this as much as you want and you find convenient, but only do it to things that they aren't necessary for the run of your game and of your system. One more thing that you can do right here is to go into the startup tab and here are some of the processes that they will start up when you open Windows. If you don't want this to happen, you want to right click into one of them and click into disable. This will not only reduce the CPU usage while you're using Windows, but will also help to start up your computer faster. Now you want to go into performance tab and click into the open resource monitor. In here you can go into network and here you can see all the processes that they are using your network. And if you see any processes that is using too much of your bandwidth, you can simply select them and end the process. One more step is to make sure that you have everything up to date. Let's start by Windows. Right click into the start menu, click into settings, go into Windows update and check for updates and install all the updates that you have available. To update the drivers of your graphic cards, Either if it is an NVIDIA or AMD, you can do it in two ways. Or you can make it directly by their website, use NVIDIA drivers download, search for your model and click into download, or AMD, same thing. Or you can download the software for your graphic cards, AMD Radeon or the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And make sure that you have them completely up to date and to the latest version. In the description down below, I'm going to let you guys a couple of videos that you can check out, for example, how to disable BBS or the best control panel settings for NVIDIA GPU to improve even further your frames per second in games. If you find the video useful, don't forget to drop a like. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy content like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, my friends. And like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.